Sometimes you just want to shut out the noise of the world around you and listen to a world of your own. That's exactly what tens of thousands of Canadians are doing these days. They're plugging into privacy, a fad that's sweeping the country. Barbara Keddy reports. Toronto actor Don Lamont is listening to rock music instead of traffic noise. He owns a pocket stereo. Since Japanese manufacturers started selling the sets earlier this year, they've become a big hit. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. I didn't know you could get this fidelity in a small piece of equipment like that. The appeal lies in their size and their sound. The small, lightweight stereo slips easily into a pocket or a purse, and the featherweight headphones deliver high-quality sound. With a pocket stereo, you can take the music you like anywhere. Every morning, for example, these Toronto students wear their pocket stereos while they're exercising. Tawny Millett says when she's listening to her stereo, she's in a world of her own. It puts you kind of out of touch with, with what's going on. Like, you can observe everything, but you're not really part of it. How does that make you feel? Um, I like it. It makes you feel anonymous. I find it an escape. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice just to, just to sit there and, and hear things without you know, having the noise of the world around you. Bernard and Shoni Young weren't happy when their teenage son bought a pocket stereo. They made him return it. My concern was basically medical. I just can't see that putting something into your ear that's putting a sound wave directly into your head can be good for you. Actor Don Lamont doesn't agree. You can put your head beside a speaker and turn it up just as loud and destroy your hearing or go to a concert and sit in a very loud part of it. And, and you don't have to walk around with them full blast. Toronto psychologist Norman Endler tried a pocket stereo for the first time during our interview. He doesn't think they're harmful. Well, I think at times all of us want a sense of privacy, and this sort of gives you some privacy when you're walking around in the, you know, the street in general, you might hear the general street noises, and here you can select what you want to put in. There's one consolation in what's becoming a controversial product. People with pocket stereos have their music all to themselves, instead of blaring it out onto the streets for everyone else to hear. Barbara Ketty, CBC News, Toronto.